I'm a serving member of this chamber. And for the past few days, I've been inundated with calls from my constituents claiming that if it is right that this house that they've always seen talk about insecurity can sit on this floor and tolerate the fact that a serving minister where there are allegations of him becoming being a member of al Qaeda or uh, Boko Haram owned up and said that he did whatever he did because as at that time he was a youth and he's still serving in this administration. Mr. So Speaker, I feel that it would be out of place for me to sit here and allow this chamber not to speak about it and totally call for his resignation or suspension. Your, your point of order is well noted. As you know, under privilege, we, we don't debate uh, such issues if it comes under privilege. Thank you. If you want to hold DSS and National Assembly responsible, what of you as an individual, over 180 million Nigerians, you were unable to. The announcement was made, the man was presented to the floor of the Senate, he was screened, and no individual out of over 180 million Nigerians was able to remember that comment made to write petition to the National Assembly for them to act or not to act. So if National Assembly should be held responsible, or the DSS, the people of this country should equally be here responsible.